dude. Oh, dude. Dude. Four guys versus one guy. He stood no chance. No. Hey, guys. How is it going? It is your girl, Sleazy, here. And welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered Baby here on the channel for, what is it today? Monday? I'm trying to get ahead on the schedule, guys, because I'm going away. I'm, I have two vacations planned. I'm going away for Easter vacation to visit my brother and his family. And then the following week, my friend is taking me, because my birthday is Tuesday, um, tomorrow, I guess. So my friend's taking me to uh, Pennsylvania. Anyway, I'll see you guys in... Well, I guess we're already in the game. What am I talking about? Let's check out the next mission. Why are they always so far? All right, guys, I'll see you there. All right, guys, here we go. We're, we're here now. Um, and yeah, another infamous in. All right. Five months later, baby. The cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We set up camp to the north. All right, sounds good. Gentlemen, let us away. Let's go, baby. It's gonna be a massive fight. I can just sense it. First, it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. <laughs> And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Right. To say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. This game is beautiful. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and onto the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the bulldog. Uh, no, please. he's probably not. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. Alright, here we go. Here we go, baby! I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes. United in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape. Oh, part Shani. of the Shardy. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? We will help the others to prepare. Follow. They come. <coughs> Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. Selfish bastard. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting 
the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride. To offer them one last chance. The French will leave. Or they will die. Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls. Else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Alright, sounds like we got a plan. <coughs> we await your signal. <coughs> there, in front of us. There we go, baby! Oh, just eat me! This looks like there's one alive. Not for long, though, dude. Oh, dude. Dude. Four guys versus one guy. He's still no chance. Alright, we're dressed for the occasion to kill now, baby. Looks like we got to... I'm telling you, Oh, oh I hate this mission. I do not like this mission. Can I go down this way? Oh, that's bullshit. I have to go around. The ground is uneven. It's dangerous. Hidden. One false move and the whole thing is sure to fall over. With a French pushback, there will be a lot of opportunities for us up north. Oh, over here. Okay, I got it. Have served, you mean, sir? Here we go. I got it now. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Yes! We baby! Where are you? Oh, uh, we gotta chase him down now? Oh, I hate you. Why couldn't you just die like a quick bastard? scared me. I thought those barrels were gonna blow up in my face, bruh. Assassinate Edward Braddock.
We got another Native American up there. Oh, that was too cool. Here we go. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! We have to chase him down again, baby? I don't deserve this! Oh, yes, you do, baby! You a bastard! You're a hypocrite, Hatham! I'm sorry, Edward, but you forced my hand! Death opens a door. Nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered. And for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. So cool. Farewell, Edward. Farewell. Fare thee well. part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. Allergies are killing me, dude. Oh, it's the season, I guess. <laughs> no. No. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she has long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us... I do it! I do it! You have shown me great kindness, dear. Zio. Thank you. I... Oh, I do it! I should go. Oh!
The Braddock Expedition Sequence 3, baby. How'd we do? Ah, that's so good. That's all right. So anyway, guys, that is an episode. I hope you guys did, in fact, enjoy that. And uh, like always, if you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out, mother truckers.